I'm Makiko Tajima. I'm a sake specialist and a researcher of food culture. In this lecture, I will talk to you about how to set up your dining table in a way that conveys the spirit of Japanese hospitality, which is called amotenashi, and increases the pleasure of drinking sake together with close friends and family. Sake is the national drink of Japan and is one of the country's traditional fermented products whose history dates back more than 2,000 years. The brewing method has evolved with each passing age. Even in the last 20 to 30 years, there has been an astonishing diversification in the flavors of sake and the ways of drinking it. So what can we, who live in this abundant age, do to appreciate sake more? First of all, it is important to fully utilize the five senses. The five senses are sight, taste, smell, touch, and hearing. To give your guests an all-around delicious experience, the first thing to focus on is visual impression. In Japan, it is said that you can taste food with your eyes. Traditionally speaking, before the guests actually taste the food and sake, the host prepares the setting by paying meticulous attention to the means by which the sake and food is served. That is our hospitality. With lifestyles in Japan becoming increasingly westernized, the methods of visual presentation have changed in various ways. I would like to tell you how to convey classic Japanese hospitality in a manner that suits these lifestyle changes. I will focus in particular on how to color coordinate the dining table. Take a look at this table. The table has been prepared for receiving dear friends, a couple, and the setting is based on early spring. Notice the color of the tablecloth. It has a bluish-purple color called Edo Murasaki. This is one of the traditional colors of Japan. The color purple holds special significance among the traditional colors of Japan. During Japan's Heian period, purple signified nobility, and as such it was greatly admired. Purple traditionally embodies various aesthetic qualities, including elegance, dignity, and charm. This beautiful color is a good choice for celebratory occasions, but when decorating the table with a blue-tinged color, there is a little technique that you should be aware of. According to the results of color psychology tests, if you eat at a table covered with a blue color, gastric secretion will be inhibited. Conversely, if an orange or yellow color is used, gastric secretion will be stimulated. Take another look at the table. The beautiful Edo Murasaki is the only color used. As you can see, it creates a rather formal atmosphere. A guest sitting at this table would feel compelled to receive the sake in a very respectful manner. So let's see what happens if we add a pink runner with colors like yellow and yellowish green mixed in. A runner is a strip of cloth about 50 centimeters wide that is spread lengthways along the middle of the table or across the table. This runner, handcrafted from yukata cloth, was dyed using a traditional Japanese method called suminagashi zome. Spreading the runner so that it runs between two people sitting opposite each other is referred to in France as tete-a-tete. Tete-a-tete -tete. tete -tete means head-to-head. -head. Accordingly, it denotes a runner style that encourages genial communication over dinner. What do you think? Simply by spreading this pink runner on the top of the Edo Murasaki tablecloth, the atmosphere around the table has become much more lighthearted and bright. When a guest at this table is offered sake, they will be able to drink it much more freely. So let me summarize the main points to keep in mind when preparing the table colors for the moment when the guest tastes with the eyes. There are warm colors, particularly orange colors, which stimulate the appetite. On the other hand, there are cold colors, particularly blue colors, which reduce the appetite. So if the base color for the table is a blue-tinged color, you must add a warm color. 
purple is a mix of the warm color red and the cold color blue. If the base color is a bluish purple like in this example, you must ensure a warm color is added on top of it. Mind you, if you are on a diet, then perhaps the bluish cloth alone will suffice. Now let me tell you how this table adorned with a flamboyant pink runner can be modified to boost appetite even more. At the moment, the table holds white saucer-like vessels called sakazuki. And here we have another vessel, a sake glass with a stem made of Japanese pottery and engraved with a beautiful sakura motif. This glass was designed to enhance the pleasure of sake. When it comes to tasting with the eyes, selecting a good sake vessel is an absolutely essential for ensuring that the guest has a great visual treat. The white porcelain vessels have been glazed with a chrysanthemum inlay decoration. This inlaying technique has been handed down in Mikawachi porcelain in Nagasaki, and it boasts a 400-year-long history. As you can see, seasonal flower patterns have been glazed onto the inside bottom of the vessel. When you pour sake into the vessel, the flowers will appear to float on the sake. This effect creates a unique kind of elegance. These glasses have been designed especially for drinking sake. The form of the glass part has been designed to bring out the taste and aroma of the sake to the full. The stem part is made from famous Japanese potteries Kutani, Arita, and Kiyomizu ware. In consideration of the effect it will have on visual taste, I have selected the Kutani Sakura pattern, which goes well with the pink runner, and the yellowish green stem, which invokes an image of fresh greenery. As you can see, simply adding a little color combination changes the entire atmosphere. Now let's change the color of chopsticks envelopes and the serviettes to a yellowish color, which will boost the appetite. Finally, let's add some flowers. If you select each particular item while paying careful attention to the color coordination of the table, you will give your guests a wonderful treat for the eyes. Another Japanese tradition is to convey the changing seasons by adorning the table with twigs from your garden or leaves that you find by the roadside during a stroll. In the example I showed you, a piece of cloth normally used for yukata was repurposed as a table runner. Finding inventive ways to repurpose material in this way, what we call mitate, is an aspect of hospitality the Japanese are very good at. Unlike wine, the colors of Japanese sake generally range from light straw color to almost complete transparency. Therefore, sake that is poured into a glass or white vessel is made to look more delicious by adding warm colors, like red, orange, yellow, and yellowish green underneath. With the addition of such warm colors, the color of sake will appear more delicious. For example, Second-hand clothing or leftover kimono cloth have been used to make these coasters. I hope that you will use these techniques on your table so you can give your guests a delicious visual experience. I have talked today about the table coordination and the role it plays in conveying Japanese-style hospitality to guests. I hope that what you learned will help you when you are preparing your dining table to serve your guests Japanese sake. We should all develop our own particular styles of serving Japanese sake. Looking to the future of sake, let us all communicate to the wider world the new ways of enjoying sake, the pride of Japan. <laughs>